Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. And today we're gonna make gluten-free banana oat breakfast cookies from Medical Medium's Cleanse to Heal book. It's Lunch with Lisa. So let's get into making these four ingredient cookies from this awesome book. You can find the link to buy this in my Amazon store down below. This is an amazing book about how to cleanse your body with food. For this recipe, you're going to need some rolled oats, one banana, raisins, and cinnamon. You're also gonna need an oven and something to line your tray with, a bowl to mix everything in, a fork, and some measuring spoons. So the first thing I'm going to do is mash my banana. So it needs to be ripe. And when you have a ripe banana, it's got yellow skin with some brown spots. If it's gone brown and it's overripe, go to the store and buy a ripe one. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a fork and just mash my banana. And when they're ripe, they're real easy to mash. So you need about a half a cup of banana or just one medium banana is fine. If you have little bananas, use two. See, in no time we have some mashed banana. Next step, you're gonna need one cup of your oats. I just used the last of mine. Time to go to the store. You need a fourth of a cup of raisins, or you could use any dried fruit. I have used my dried cherries in this before, and it's so good. And then just one teaspoon of the cinnamon. I have my oven set to 350, so I'm gonna bake these for about 20 minutes. I'm just gonna mix all this together and then scoop it up onto my cookie sheet. You don't want any dry bits of oat left. See there? Then I'm gonna line my baking sheet with some parchment paper, and I'm gonna use a scooper. This is like a little medium-sized scooper, and I'm gonna pack this in with my fingers. Really get it in there. I have just like a heaping spoonful. I'm just gonna place that down on my cookie sheet. I should make about eight cookies. You can do this with a spoon if you don't have a scooper, but this is so handy. Now I'm just gonna take my dirty hand here and squish them all flat into cookie shapes. All right, then I pop these in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so 20 minutes have gone by. They're out of the oven. They're super hot still. You want to let them cool down so they get nice and crunchy. But look at these cookies. Oh, I like to eat them warm. Mm -hmm. They're so good. That banana just makes it super sweet. No added sugar. Pure, wholesomely goodness. <laughs> and so good for you. I don't know how many servings this is. I just eat the whole batch. <laughs> You guys gotta try these out. I hope you do. Let me know how it goes. If you like what you see and wanna help support me, there's three ways you can do it. You can follow the links down below to my Amazon store, buy anything from Amazon within 24 hours and I'll receive a small commission. That'd be awesome. Or you can buy me a coffee at coffee.com slash lunchwithlisa. Or you can become a patron like all these lovely people. Thank you. Patreon.com slash lunchwithlisa. And it's always free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. It's lunch with Lisa. Mmm, so good.